All right, well, good morning, everyone. Happy, I'm fogging up here. Happy Father's Day. It is humid. <laughs> I mean, humid. I was, yeah. Are you here still? There we go for now anyway I got up somewhat early I got two brisket points that's all I could find yesterday for meat to barbecue today and have a look over there oh yes it's going that's a brand new barbecue thank you honey Not you honey honey in the house honey anyway we're gonna put two brisket points on today I'm losing you two brisket points on today we got some people coming over later for dinner and I'm just waiting for the temperature to come down a bit. And yes, it is another char griller barbecue. The other one, I loved the other one. It was just getting small, getting small like it was growing small. No, it was small. We were growing bigger diet. Anyway, I just wanted a bigger barbecue. So that's why we went with this one here. And I had good luck with the other one. So we decided to go with the char griller again. Now, the two points that are going on here, I rubbed them down with Stubbs beef rub. And also put up a little bit of a mixture with some Stubbs barbecue sauce and some apple apple juice and things like that. So I can inject that into the meat to keep it moist all day long. I'm guessing these may take 7 to 8, maybe 10 hours. I'm trying to get the temp down in the barbecue right now. So it's been about 2 hours on the brisket. That's a nice smoke roll on here. Let's have a look see what they look like. Too bad. So as you can see, I got the coals and the smoke on the right. Briskets on the left. And the wood, sorry about that. And the wood I'm using is apple wood. So hopefully we can get a nice sweet apple taste to it. Also I'm basting it every hour with a mixture of apple juice and some barbecue sauce and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, well, it's been about four hours. Yes, I did change my shirt. She made me cut the grass. I got all sweaty. It's Father's Day, and I had to cut the grass, regardless. Anyways, so I've been checking this every four hours. Here's how it looks so far. So there we are. So those are starting to get a nice bark on them. Right now, they're sitting at about 158 degrees. I might add a couple more pieces of wood. Again, they're not on direct heat. Like I said, I'm about four hours in. Uh, temperature sitting around 325, 310. It's been steady there for the past few hours, so that's where I'm trying to keep it at. It's coming along. Right now, the internal temp is 165. I took them off at 162 and wrapped them in tin foil and put them back on. I want to try and get them up to around 180, but I want to keep the juice inside. Well, no one's arrived yet. The brisket is done. It's in the house resting. I got the potatoes on the barbecue right now. Just made the burgers. We're going to put those on. At least everything will be ready when everybody gets here. Hopefully. Should be a good time. Happy Father's Day. All right, guys, it is time. The time to cut the brisket. The time to whew, find my words. Time to cut the brisket. Well, my intentions was to set the camera up so that I could show you cutting the brisket, but that didn't quite work out very well. There's other things going on in the kitchen, but have a look. Guys, yeah, so again, these are two brisket points. It's not a whole brisket, but have a look. I'm about to cut this one here up in strips just like this one here. There we are all sliced up. But to be completely honest, it's a little drier than what I would like. But man, does it taste good. Oh, it tastes fantastic. 
All right, I gotta stop eating it while I cut it. Anyway, people are starting to get here. I got burgers on, I gotta go check those. I got enough to do. I'm gonna cover that with foil, put it back on the not so hot, put it back on the warm side of the barbecue, just to keep it warm when everybody gets ready to eat. Oh. Don't tell my wife, but me and Diesel, or Diesel and I, grammar. We've been picking into that and it is delicious. Guaranteed for that you gotta pay. 